Hi everyone, welcome back to part two of my organisation video. There might even be a part three, depending on how long everything takes, but basically this is part two, so if you haven't watched part one yet, then you can watch that. Um, I will try and remember to put it on screen <clears throat> for you to have to click straight through. So basically the first thing I need to do is I've just finished swatching all of the gel perfection colours and basically what I need to do is now, I've sorted them all out into which order I want the swatches to be in, I just need to sort the gels into the order of the swatches so then I can put them on the shelves when my boyfriend gets home from work and sorts my shelves out for me. So yeah, I just thought you might want to join me, I'm going to pop these into order now and just have them ready to put on the shelves when they're up and ready. Okay, so I finished that task now. All of those are in the respective like order that I need them in. And then I just need to pop these ones on rings now. So I know for sure that I want black. So basically, I just sort these out in the way that my rings for other things are. So obviously, I have... Um, what are they called? So I have swatches for everything that I've got. So I want them to be all like the same sort of order if that makes sense so i've got another brand of gel polish and i also have acrylic colors so i just make sure that i have the same things in the same sort of order so i usually have my blacks grays and white with nude and brown um and then i have like my purples my pinks and then the blue and blue and green goes together and just stuff like that and then my red coral and orange and stuff like that so that's basically just how i do it so i'm just going to go ahead and put all these on rings now okay so this is how i like to have my swatch stick so we've got all of the reds oranges um well reds berries oranges and yellows and corals and then we've got black gray silver glitters iridescent glitters then we've got browns nudes and stuff like that and then we've got blues and greens and then we've got purples and pinks so that's that's it for this part of this video um i now need to go and pack up some gel polishes that some people have bought and get those off to the post office and then when I come back I need to just have a big tidy up because the room is just full of stuff and I need to get all the stuff that doesn't need to be in the room out of it so I can sort out the rest of the day. I also need to empty the shelves ready for when my partner gets home and rearranges them. Um, so then tomorrow obviously I can continue this video by sorting out my walls because it's all going to be moved around. So yeah now I need to go to the post office. Okay, so I'm back from the post office. I've just had the delivery of the extra um, drawer dividers, which you would have seen in part one organising. So this one, I didn't quite need all of them. Um, so I think I am going to maybe cut that down a little bit so there's not so much, but I might just leave it. Um, and then it's just more storage for other things if I can think of anything else to put there. I have got some like spare bottles of different brands and stuff in my drawer, in my trolley down here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe popping those in there somewhere but anyway so that's the second drawer that I did in the last video and then this one is the one that I've just finished I could fit another row back here but I don't really want to because it'll probably be pretty difficult to get them out anyway so it's perfect just having them here um, so I'm really really happy with how that turned out those dividers are amazing they're really really useful um, to be honest I never open my drawers all the way out so I'm thinking that I might just leave that as is because when I grab something I just open it like that so I don't think it's going to be much of an issue anyway. So now I've just got all of this stuff on my desk. I have got a photo album a photo album upstairs. I forgot about that I'm going to go and find, um, hopefully, to be able to put those in. Um, and then other than that, I can't really do anything now until my boyfriend has sorted out the shelves so I can sort those out. But I do need to take everything off them, uh, which is just an absolute nightmare. So let me just show you what's going on with those. So basically, I need to pop all of these colours onto one not that shelf because that one's got to come off as well <laughs> um i need to pop all the colors out of the way first let me just do that and then i'll talk through what we're doing with the shelves 
Okay, so I've moved all those gels just over there for now. Obviously, they're the ones that I'm selling, so they're not going to be there long, hopefully, because I do need to get rid of those. So here, this middle one here, the long one with the nail art, is going to go down here um, along there because I want to have four long ones and then four short ones. So that top one will just come off and I won't use that. And then there'll be a small one in its place and then a small one in that one's place and a small one underneath the one that's already there. Oh, let's just breathe and then I'm going to put on those four small ones will be all my gel perfection colors so they're all here waiting to go on those when they're ready and then on this side will be just basically loads of nail art so at the moment Tia's beauty stuff has had to be doubled up on this row um, because I don't have enough wall space at the minute obviously with the gels but um, when those gels have moved this front row here that is in front of those ones will go on the shelf so there's going to be these glitters and everything on that shelf will be on the top shelf because they're taller so I can see them better because I'm really small <laughs> and then the bottom layer here of all those like shapes and shards and leaf and stuff like that will go on this one um, and then the bottom one is a spare one but don't worry I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find something to put on there I just need to figure out what um, and then in the gap in the middle because there's going to be holes there as well obviously from where these have been um, but in that gap I will have my insurance certificate that's down here which needs renewing in a couple of months anyway but my insurance certificate will go up right here I will have my drinks menu here because I have hot drinks and cold drinks in a little mini fridge for my clients so I'll just I'm gonna I need to do that today actually as well before I forget I need to put a list together um, of the drinks that I have to choose from so I don't have to keep telling everyone what I've got. They'll just be able to see it on there. And then at the top, I might put my Nail Tech of the Year finalist certificate up. I'm not sure yet. I need to see if I've got any other certificates in my folder of certificates that are actually horizontal um, because I just basically need something to go horizontal. So I'll have a horizontal one here and then two vertical ones there and breathe <laughs> so I'm hoping that that's going to look effective um obviously we will soon find out I also want to get another one of these coat hook things because there's just so many um swatch sticks on these coat hooks and nobody really knows the difference between them all like with my clients I have to explain which ones are which especially because now my gel polish colors are also on stiletto tips and so are the acrylic colors so the the ladies that don't have acrylic colour are going to be really confused and stuff like that so I want to get another one of these hopefully matching if not I'll have to get two or something else and just get rid of this one and um, one up here and then one further down maybe different sides of the light switch depending on how much space I've got and then I'll have acrylic on one and then gel on another so I'll have all of these swatch sticks because they're my gel perfection gels and then all of these swatch sticks all the blue sky ones and then all of those underneath are acrylic colours so they'll go on separate ones and I can obviously just say to clients like oh pick from the top or pick from the bottom sort of thing so that's where I'm up to the state of my room is still horrendous there's still boxes absolutely everywhere which is just gross but um I need to go to the tip and we're only allowed to go so many times in a matter of two weeks and we've already been within the past two weeks so I need to give it a few days before I can go again but all those boxes will be gone but obviously this is just an organization video I will get around to doing a salon tour when it's all finished completely but I just thought you might want to come along with me to actually getting it to the point of being finished bearing in mind that today is the the 29th of March and we're going to find out in one week today whether I can actually open in two weeks or not so it's all very nerve-wracking having so much to do with such little time um this is what you get for leaving everything to the last minute but we're getting there so next time you see me will be when my boyfriend has done these shelves moved them around for me and then we can get going with filling them So as you can see, I have changed around the, um, what are they called? What are they called? Shelves. Um, and they look much better now. I'm super, super happy. I've just added some coloured acrylics down here and then the cores on top. 
and all the way all over here that is all tears beauty and it looks beautiful i love their packaging and then over here we've got the diamond glitters gel perfection colors there is more on the way <laughs> so there'll be another haul for those soon so i've just had a delivery of these i'm really sorry it's so dark i haven't got my uh, my little lamp on let's just turn that on why is this so difficult there we go <laughs> so i've just had a delivery of these so we've got some command strips and this um book which is basically the same as the enchanted decals one but without her logo on so i've popped these into um just some plain white frames so i've got my um what's it called insurance certificate here and then this certificate to go above it and um, so i think i'm going to have that like in the middle at the top horizontally to cover those holes that plant is not staying there by the way it's just there out of the way at the moment and then i'm going to have this just below it so i'm just going to do the command strips i did get the the narrow ones because obviously these frames are really well now they're on the floor um these frames are really thin so i'm going to pop those on now and then get these on the wall so this other frame is the same frame that's just an order confirmation obviously um this is just the same frame but it's going to have my drinks menu is in it but my mum will be printing that off at work today and then she'll bring it back for me tonight so i can put it up then and then the wall is basically finished um apart from obviously i need to take that off and then i just need to get some little nip like knick-knacky bits to put at the end of the shelves just so they're not so plain but i'm not too worried about that and obviously i'm going to wait for everywhere to open first so i can have a proper look around for something suitable but that's it for this video i think um i don't want to basically like drag this one out too much because the next one part three is going to be probably the longest because that's going to include um all of the sparkle supplies uk products because while i'm doing this half of the video they have arrived now i've just finished filming the haul video another diamond glitters haul a mini glitter planet haul <laughs> that will be in the next organization video and obviously i've actually started the organization video too i'm just in the middle of um basically potting all these up but i'll go into more detail about that in the next video um so yeah if you want to see more organization and hopefully this room go from an absolute well i don't want to swear on this channel so an absolute bomb site <laughs> to actually ready for clients to be in then definitely watch the third one because that's where majority of it's going to happen it is going to be a really long one though in the next one so just be aware that part three is going to be long um you might have to like book a day off of work <laughs> no, i'm joking it's just um it's going to include a lot basically and all my drawers stuff like that that's going to be the next one so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and part one so far and part three is still to come so yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll be back soon bye